Happy Monday. These Mondays come around so quick. I just want to talk to you guys for for a little bit. Not going to be too long. Try not to make this a long, drawn-out process. But um, I'm loving talking with you guys, and uh, thanks for all the support. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for supporting me. And, uh, you know, um, pr- pr- appreciate the love, you know. It's good to see people that uh, like your content, open to what you have to say. And uh, and it's good to find people that have your same struggle and have your same challenges. Because uh, I used to think that I was all alone in this by myself, <laughs> you know. I know the screen is dark, but, you know, this life, life is dark for some folks. Um, yeah, it's good to just meet people that, have your same struggles in life. But I want to talk about, I was thinking about this. Um, I believe that it's better. It's something I was just thinking about. I believe it's better to be raised in, and I'm not glorifying this, but I believe it's better to be raised in the hood than it is to be raised up in church. And reason why I say it's better to be raised in the hood than it is in church, because When you grow up in the trenches, when you grow up around the wolves, it teaches you um, real life. You you, you see real life right before your eyes. And um, when you grow up in the hood, it's giving you that survival of the fittest type of vibe. Um, You know, it gives you that survival of the fittest edge. And... um, you under you know not to trust people you you learn how to discern people and fill out their energy and understand where they're coming from. You see real life right in front of you um kids in the hood they're exposed to a lot of things very early in life. You see people get gunned down you see uh you see a lot of stuff that you shouldn't see at a very young age, but in the midst of all of that even though that's not a great life and that's not a life that anyone should glorify, but it's, I would say it's better to know the truth about life early, at least little kids in the hood, they see reality right before them. Even though children in the hood witness a lot of things they shouldn't witness, you know, seeing murder, seeing, you know, all kind of crazy stuff early in life. Now, Little children don't need to see that kind of stuff. But I will say that when you're exposed to the realness of life early, because in the hood, you're exposed to real life. You see the truth right in front of your eyes every day. And you you, you got to constantly be on guard living in the hood because anything could pop off any moment. That kind of life being raised like that, It teaches you to be on point. It gives you that aggressive edge. That's why I say being raised in the church make you all soft, make you uh, very trusting of people, make you overly nice, thinking that everybody have good intentions. And that'll get you ate up by the sharks in the world. That's why, you know, even though, you know, people bash the hood, and I'm not here to glorify the hood or, 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 or celebrate the hood. But there are some benefits to being raised in the hood. There are pros and cons in a lot of things. Um, you know, uh, I look at how I was raised all sheltered in, in the church. And I couldn't see how it affected me in my younger days. But now that I'm, that I'm grown and I'm older and wiser. I see how it affected me and being raised in the hood has some good benefits. It gives you that toughness, gives you that aggressiveness, you know, uh, it gives you that, uh, that no fear type of attitude, you know, cause most of these ninjas that grow up in the hood, they ain't afraid of nothing. You know, they welcome all the smoke. And I'm not saying that's a good attitude to have, but, you know, uh, 
it, there are benefits that I'm seeing that can that, that you can have from being raised in the hood versus being raised in the church and beat over the head with the Bible and, you know, scared, having nightmares, thinking about the devil getting you, you know, being raised in the hood. It, it can really teach you how to deal with people and no BS when you see it. It can give you that discernment and that edge that you need to have as a man, because as a man, there is a certain aggressive aggress, aggression level that you need. There is a certain edge that you need to have about yourself. And the hood can give you that. It can definitely give you that. Um, and and I, cause I cause I noticed that a lot of guys that come from a lot of people that grew up in the hood or come from the streets, they have that that discernment. They know not to be going around being all nice and friendly to people. They know not to be trusting of people. They know not to think that people have your best interests. You know, and 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 you learn all of these things early when you're growing up in the hood. I learned all of this stuff later in life, you know, even though I, you know, I used to, you know, look down on the, the, the hood or, you know, people look down on the hood or whatever, but I'm seeing there are some benefits to coming from that kind of lifestyle. In, in my teen days, I used to wish that I grew up in the hood, but I know better now. That's not a lifestyle that you want to glorify and that's not a place that you want to come from because I used to have a big fascination of watching hood documentaries. And sometimes I still watch them from time to time because it just puts me in a different mind frame because that's a different world from how I was raised, all sheltered and protected. And I just think to myself, had I been raised in these type of environments, I'd i I'd be a total different guy than the guy that I am today. And, you know, you know, that's why I say children, if I was a parent, I wouldn't shelter my kids. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want them to be exposed to everything so early because, you know, kids in the hood, they're exposed to any and everything early in life, but I wouldn't want to raise my kids so sheltered. And I definitely would not raise my kids in no freaking church house. I wouldn't raise my kids up in no church. I wouldn't be taking my kids to world changes. I wouldn't. No, no, no. But um, let me let me know what you guys think about being raised in the church versus being raised in the hood because, and, you know, and I'm not even though I'm not saying the hood is a great place to be born and raised, but people don't have no control over where they come from. But in all honesty, I would say that it's better to be raised in the hood than it is to be raised up in church. Because that the, the hood, it gives you that 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 character, that edge. And a lot of women, I believe this is why they like guys that come from the streets because of the experience, you know, that they have and, you know, uh, the edge of aggressiveness that they have, you know, that, that no fear type of attitude. But uh, just let, let me know what you guys think about being raised in the hood. You know, I can't talk about really being raised in the hood since I, I, I was, I was raised up in the church house. I wasn't raised up in, in the hood. You know, I was an old church boy. But uh, just let me know what you guys think about, you know, being raised in the hood versus being raised in the church, because uh, I'm a firm believer. It, I would, it's better to be raised in the hood than it is in the church, because at least you know the truth about life. You know how to deal with people and you'll have that that edge about yourself that you need in this world because this world is a rough place and you got a lot of wolves out here. But um, let me know what you guys think. I'll be talking to you guys. Be back at you with more topics real soon. All right now.